you're here with us today at the Universal Design Innovation Showcase. Uh, here we're showcasing all our designs from our 3B8 module, uh, which we do as part of a third, year third year mechanical engineering in Trinity College Dublin. Uh, so what we have today is we have our Zoomer frame. It's uh, essentially an electric, electric powered zo uh, Zimmer frame. And uh, what it uses is it uses ultrasonic sensors to gauge the distance of how far away the user is from the Zimmer frame. If the user is too far away, the Zimmer frame stops completely. Um, and then if the user is too close, the Zimmer frame actually speeds up a little bit. And then we have a nice medium ground uh, for when the user is about the right optimum distance away. And we also have a reverse gear as well, uh, should you want to reverse your, in, in your Zimmer frame. And then of course we have an emergency stop uh, should things get out of hand. This is the auto seat. It's a retrofit for the car seat, which uh, allows you to raise it and lower it uh, for ease of access for the car. There's also a rotary actuation in it, which allows you to turn in and out of the car more easily. We work it using uh, pneumatics, which is uh, compressed air. And this compressed air, inlet and outlet, is controlled by a solenoid valve, which is an electromechanical valve and that is operated using an Arduino, which is a MIDI computer like a microcontroller. So we have the, developed the upper frame. It's a, a walking aid with a, a fully adjustable height that goes up and down. Um, we came up with this because basically a nurse told us that there was a big issue with users uh, trying to put weight on a, a normal HSE frame and they'd stumble backwards into the seat and this would cause a lot of issues with hip replacements and possible dislocations. So we came up with uh, a frame that you'd press buttons and that would allow you to lower down into a sitting position, take a seat and then whenever you're ready, press the buttons again and you'd be assisted back up to a standing position. Our product is a, an assistive walking boot. It's a motor and a lever and linkages on your, on your leg that helps you to walk when you step off. So it's all about reducing the effort needed to walk and making it easier to walk distances, and especially for the elderly who have reduced mobility. This is kind of based off research we did that found that as people start to get weaker and they can't walk as far, they stop walking, which just exasperates the problem. So we're trying to combat that. So we saw what other people have done with this kind of walking boot, especially for like the military, for people who march and go on uh, combat missions. And it was really effective, but it was not discreet. It wasn't designed to be, it was functional, not form. So we tried to take that and make it a bit more user friendly, a bit more discreet so that people wouldn't be embarrassed to wear it. So the result of that is the turbo walker. So our project is called Trackway Tremor and it's a device that measures the amplitude and velocity of uh, someone with Parkinson's shake in their arm. So the problem at the moment is that in hospitals, the only way of tracking someone's tremor is visually, right? That's a big problem for doctors because uh, Parkinson's tremor is never solid. It's never the same motion the whole time, it's periodic. So this tremor you have now is, could be different from the tremor you have in five minutes. So our device aims at eliminating that. It's a device that uh, the user would wear all day on their wrist. It would look very much like a watch, and it would track the, the, the velocity and the displacement of the tremor in their hand. The doctor would be able to take that off an SD card, be able to put it into his computer, and he'd be able to see it on a graph how big the tremor is. The advantage of that is if he knows, if the doctor knows, okay, your tremor has gotten much larger, we need to up the medication or we need to change the medication, uh, or your tremor has gotten much better since we've put in certain medication, we can reduce it. At the moment, the doctor really has not much idea, and the symptoms of Parkinson's medication can be very bad. So this, the aim of this device is to reduce the error in giving medication to the patient. So it's really a doctor's aid and hopefully reduce the cost to both the patient and the doctor for medication. Today we're presenting the memory mat. Uh, it's a self-serving shopping list. And what happens is, once you place, once the item is not on the mat, the light will remain on. But once you do place the item on, after a time of five seconds, the LED should turn off. And that allows users to know that there is, the product is there and uh, is the place it should be. So then once you do remove it, uh, there's also a time delay of five seconds, but that can be set to any time delay uh, to allow the users to know that their product isn't there or isn't placed um, in the fridge. So then once the, uh, once the weight is less than 10% of the original weight, the LED will remain on. 
So there's nothing on the mat at the moment. The LED will turn on in a time delay of five seconds. And then once it's below 10% of the weight, the light will actually remain on to allow the user to know that they're in need of going to the shop to purchase some of that product, which now happens to be milk. Our design concept was basically to take everything that was good about different types of Zimmer frames and apply them to the one Zimmer frame. So you had things like a stair climber, but the, the Zimmer frame would only do that, or you had uh, motorized Zimmer frames, but it would only do that. So what we did was we took the stair climber wheels, we made them interchangeable, we took indoor wheels and we took outdoor wheels. We then attached um, a motoring device that basically measured the step of the user. So when a user would step forward, the Zimmer frame would then record the distance they stepped and the wheels would move to match the distance that they walked. This meant that um, elderly people didn't have trouble with high resistant brakes and the Zimmer frame wouldn't run away from them. So the Easy Lift is a multifunctional mobility device uh, for rising from a sitting position to a standing position and it uses this through uh, the use of air inflation. So we have an airbag below the seat made of uh, the inner tube of a motorcycle wheel and a nylon bag and we have two inner airbags, they're both individual and they run on the same uh, lines and also there are two camelback uh, water pouches and they can be used for directional control either left and right and a comfort setting as well.